Symmetry is all around us in nature. Symmetry is simple, elegant and efficient. It represents order and it's beautiful. Symmetry feels safe. So how do we feel about asymmetry? Sometimes it's a sign of danger in the natural world. At first glance, aeroplanes seem to be symmetrical. But when you look closer, you may notice that aeroplanes are not symmetrical. Some, of course, more than others. For instance, would you fly in this bizarre aeroplane? Yes, it actually existed. It flew well, and it was aerodynamically sound. Oddly enough, even the first powered aeroplane was noticeably asymmetrical. Let's start with the wing design. Some aeroplanes have symmetrical wings. This is where the top and bottom surfaces are the same. But most aeroplanes have wings that look something like this. This is called a semi-symmetrical aerofoil. The top surface has more curvature than the bottom surface. This wing shape helps aeroplanes generate more lift. We know it works, although we still can't agree on exactly how it works. Some other asymmetric wings are the flat bottom aerofoil and the under cambered aerofoil. When the pilot rolls the aeroplane, one aileron deflects up, the other down or vice versa. On some aeroplanes, however, the upgoing aileron deflects more than the downgoing aileron. This is called differential ailerons and it helps to balance out the extra aileron induced drag between both wings. A single engined aeroplane is plagued by certain properties of physics that can force its nose sideways when in flight. For example, a clockwise turning propeller, as seen from the pilot's perspective, can cause the aeroplane to yaw to the left. As pilots don't like aeroplanes that can't fly straight, some unusual design features were invented to fix this problem. Let's have a look at some asymmetric examples here. Although the cross-section of the vertical stabiliser is symmetrical, some single-engined aeroplanes incorporate a little angle of incidence that looks like this. When the vertical stabiliser points to the side, it generates some horizontal lift to the left. This opposes the undesired yawing tendency caused by the propeller and it helps the aeroplane fly straight. Instead of having the vertical stabiliser pointed sideways, some aeroplanes have their engine and of course the propeller shaft slightly angled sideways. For a clockwise moving propeller, the shaft is angled to the right. We've made another video on this topic, which you can watch here. This aeroplane's left wing is longer than the right wing. The longer wing creates more lift. More lift on the left promotes a slight roll to the right. This helps to counteract the undesired yawing and subsequent rolling tendency to the left. Multi-engined aeroplanes are not immune from the nasty propeller-induced effects. For example, when both propellers on a twin-engined aeroplane spin clockwise, the combined thrust line is offset to the right. Counter-rotating propellers spin counter-clockwise on the right, clockwise on the left. Counter-rotating propellers keep the thrust line closer to the aeroplane's centre line. Although the counter-rotating propeller design looks symmetrical on the outside, on the inside it's a different story. One engine is often different to the other, so it can spin the propeller in the opposite direction. Larger aeroplanes have also seen some radical design ideas that push the envelope of symmetry. For example, this three-engine concept, and this concept, was indeed proposed by aeroplane designers. Despite the aerodynamic advantages to these odd engine arrangements, I think it's fair to say passengers wouldn't feel safe to fly in it. What do you think?
please let me know in the comments below.